Hello everybody, I am Sammy15, the Dragon Tamer here. Welcome to Pave Gamer Talk, where today we'll be talking about E3 2014. But before we go any further, uh, I only guess know there won't be any videos or any clips or anything like that. Just me and my pure voice. And that's the picture you see, so you can just go and do, do other stuff while you're listening to my voice if you feel like it. And here's some of the new news for from the E3 Microsoft thing. In case you didn't see it, this was Monday, June June 9th, 2014, and uh, this is just Microsoft's stuff. I'm, I'll do everything, do uh, Ubisoft and some other stuff later. I'll be try to keep coverage each and every single time they have a new section, the D3. I'll try to get you guys informed, keep you guys informed, and all that nonsense. So without further ado, let's continue. Let's uh, continue while you guys are here for the news. Uh, a new Call of Duty game has, has been announced uh, called Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which seems kind of cool, I guess. It has, it's basically futuristic. You can like do a super jump, I guess. The grenades are cool. Like some of this tech is kind of all this techy stuff is kind of cool. It's really cool. I really do like all this cool stuff. I'm not really a first-person shooter or FPS fan myself, but oh well. Uh, Forza Horizon 2. Uh, New Forza game has been released. Forza Horizon 2. Uh, there's gonna be the graphics from what I've seen look incredible. They look beautiful. All that that stuff just looks amazing. Uh, there's new clubs too. Apparently, where you can like, if your clubs are cool enough, like, and have enough members, they can get bigger and bigger and bigger, which I think is actually fairly cool. Um, there's, there's open world freedom, which is kind of expected. Um, Seamus multiplayer, I think you can like play with multiple different people at the same time while you're in different races, which isn't exactly new from what I've seen. But this for Horizon 2 looks beautiful, and I'm kind of looking forward to see it, even though I probably won't play it. Evolve, uh, this new Evolve game, this, this looks really cool. Uh, you can play, it's you have new there's class options, you can be the monster, but what's really cool is that it's the monster versus four people. The hunters. So basically, you can be the monster, and four other people can be like the hunters, and they can hunt down these monsters. And there's different different monsters as well. And I think it looks really cool. There's four different classes. I don't remember which ones there were, but yeah, that's just that. Uh, then we have Assassin's Creed Unity. This actually looks really cool. You can form your own brotherhood. Same thing with the uh, new club thing. And uh, you can work with multiple assassins at the same time. Like during the cash, the conference, there's they show four people work, working together at the same time, just seamlessly working together. I'm not exactly sure if these are actual people or just or CPUs, but if it's CPUs, I think that'd be just just as cool, if not cooler. Uh, they showed a game trailer called Dragon's Age Inquisition, which actually looks really cool. Uh, this, this seems what the trailers have been showing is this guy with the curse. And it just, it just looks really cool. Um, Sunset Overdrive, you are the hero. You can customize your own character. It's basically for mine, so a zombie game with some style, some flash, and just some pizzazz. And looks, that just looks awesome. It just looks totally cool. You, basically, that's basically what it is. You can grind everywhere. Ah, oh, man, this thing looks really cool. Um, it, and it's really neat that it's like. It's like a dark series version of it, where like everyone's talking, to, everyone was talking about like all, all these, because uh, people, even when the zombies are not exactly working working together, there's also factions, kind of like what uh, uh, the Last of Us was. But at the same time, it's basically the Last of Us, but with fun, <laughs> with this peer, it just looks badass. I definitely want to play that. I am going to play it. It's, there's also a multiplayer version called the uh, Chaos Squad where you can play with others. There's four on four, or I think it's eight on eight, I'm not exactly sure. But I do know there's eight people, I think. And that'll be definitely kind of cool if, like, this zombie game can also go multiplayer. Um, new DLC for Dead Rising 3. Seems like a bunch of cameos, but maybe a bunch of constants. I don't know, not sure, but I think there's you can play some other Capcom characters with, with this Dead Rising 3 DLC. Um, Dan Central Sp Spotlight and I, uh, new Disney Fantasia, I think it was, were, uh, basically dancing games with music and stuff. 
Those are basically mounts as well. Uh, Fable Legends also looks pretty cool. It looks kind of RPG-esque with the many different heroes to team up with. Different classes and skills and you can be you can also be able to the same thing with that but evolve. It's kinda like four four people working together versus like a uh, a villain. But only the villain's more of a god mode to be honest. Where you basically can create all the creatures and stuff and to send against your enemies. Which looks really cool. Fable Legends seems to be different than your typical Fable game. It looks more uh RPG with uh but it kind of like, I don't know how to say it, but it looks with a multiplayer RPG with esque, I guess. It looks pretty cool, I think. I know I'd definitely probably get that if I had an Xbox one, but you probably won't get one. Uh, Project Spark. Oh, which is basically, you can, it's like a game creator of sorts. Kind of like, uh, what's its face? A little bit planned, but only like you can create your own games. It looks really cool. I really didn't see much of it as a, a trailer. At the end of the trailer is really cool. There's Conquer saying, "All right, since we can't make our own, sorry, since they're not gonna make a game, it's been over a decade. Why don't we make our own game?" <laughs> so basically, Conquer will probably be in there somewhere too, and that is also pretty neat. Um, there's another trailer called Ori in the Blind Forge with this magical thing. It looks more of a uh, a platformer of sorts. It looks really cool. It just, it just looks very beautiful and very. I want to play that so badly right now. Um, two new Halo, two Halo games right now. It's uh, the Master Chief Collection, Halo Five Guardians. There's also be better within the Master Chief Collection. And I'm not exactly sure, but Halo Two will get a complete and total uh, a tenth anniversary. The total thing is like new. The maps are like redesigned. And the whole and the uh, multiplayer mode, the original multiplayer, will be shipped as it was on uh, launch day for Halo, for the original Halo 2. I'm not exactly sure if this Halo 2 anniversary edition will be in the Master Chief collection or it'll be its own separate thing or kind of sort of both. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, there's also this game called Inside. Don't remember much of it. Oh, I remember. Hey, I don't right now. Do I don't remember much? Was because I really wasn't paying attention at the time. But there was uh, this kind of kid that was kind of walking around another little platform, I think, of sorts. Another little shades and gray. That just looks also pretty cool. Uh, there's also a bunch of new indie games that they're announcing that are for like download, I guess. Which is really good because Microsoft had a little bit of an issue with with the uh, indie games as played, and most of them have been flocking to the, to the uh, PlayStation 4. And I do think the indies will be Kind of a little bit more, you see a lot more indie games playing a huge part in the gaming industry more in the future. Uh, the sequel to the, the, the other Tomb Raider game that was released earlier last year, Rise of the Tomb Raider, the, which looks great. Graphics, of course, are phenomenal, all that nonsense. I'm really looking forward to play it, but I don't think it's going to be a 3 Xbox One uh, exclusive. Yeah, some of these games are not, are most of these games are exclusive, but not, but not all of them. Let's see what else. Uh, the Witcher, how you can hunt down creatures. Like you can also to help you hunt down creatures, you can. This is cool stuff that I really wasn't paying attention too much in this is either, but it looks kind of cool. Uh, Phantom Dust. Uh, there was just a trailer with a guy facing a girl, and the girl had more of a sword, and the guy has more like special abilities. Uh, Tom Clancy's The Division, a new Tom Clancy game was announced, and it looks pretty cool. I really do. It, look, it looks kind of cool and kind of, kind of like uh, the uh, Modern Warfare Three, not Modern Warfare Three, but but on Modern Warfare uh, that new Modern Warfare game that I talked about earlier, with the kind same kind of new stuff and like kind of future esque. It looks pretty cool. Uh, Scalebound uh, was also a trailer. They have this guy who it all uh, kind of looks like the new Dante, but only with white hair. He had the same kind of sword. I don't know if they're alluding to something. And this guy can also like, like gain like armor, like something like that, and like ride a dragon to battle and like fight things. That actually looks kind of cool. I might want to play that. And then there's Crackdown. 
I don't know much about Crackdown, but this trade looks kind of cool. And that was it. Like, seriously, that's all they really talk about games. Like, just games after g game after game after game after game. And this 90 minutes went really fast. And I feel like Microsoft just needed more games to add. And, like, like alright, you want more games? Here's more games. Like, there's so much games. It was more, there was not much of, like, a, to me, it was less of a press conference than more of a, uh, show you what new games are there. <laughs> Those pretty much what this was, you know? Just showing new games. And I really did like this. This is actually, I really did like this Microsoft, uh, this Microsoft E3 thing. It was really cool, and I really do think that, uh, that Microsoft does have some problems. I was kind of downing Microsoft, going more to Sony, that Sony made me win this, uh, uh, this console war just because of how well they were doing. But I think that Microsoft is showing we do have a chance. It's, as much as I hate to, 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 not, to say it, Microsoft won the last one. They're trying to win the, this one as well. 360 beat the PS3 and the Wii. We kind of have to admit this at this point. But I do think that the 360 and the, the Xbox One at this point is showing promise as well that it wasn't earlier this year. And I do think that this will be fun to watch as a gamer and to fun to play all these new games. So I'm Sammy15, the Dragon Timmer. Uh, please like and subscribe for more stuff later on today and throughout the whole entire week. I'll be trying my best to cover as much stuff as I can this year and cover all the E3 stuff, as much E3 conferences. I'm watching this all via IGN um, because, well, they have the best conference right now. The best little... The one connecting. The best little stuff, I guess. Probably, uh, yeah. So yeah, please like, subscribe on that nonsense, and I'll see you guys next time.